Next question is from GD Penna. Is it truly necessary to take one rest day a week? For instance, how about alternating between full bo- body strength days and cardio? No, it's not necessary to take one day off a week. It is necessary to modify your intensity and activity mm. to allow your body to rest and recover. However, uh, under most circumstances, um, your body recovers better when it's active than if you're just sitting around laying in bed. Yeah. Now, this was, uh, you know, I believe this, uh, the opposite to be true when I was younger because I thought, oh, I have to like totally rest so my muscles can recover. So I would like have this crazy hard workout and then I'd come home and sit on the couch purposely and be like, don't move, let the muscles build. <laughs> let them grow. Yeah, it doesn't work. In fact, not being active can hamper recovery and can cause the opposite to happen. When you don't move, you're sending a signal to your body that says, we don't need muscle, we don't need strength, we don't need fitness. But you do need to modify your intensity. You can't train super hard all the time. Of course, this is depends on the individual and their, their fitness level and their recovery. But you can't push your body to its limits all the time, day in and day out, because you will run into problems. But you can totally be active every day. In fact, I feel my best and I recover my best when I'm active every single day. What does that look like for me? Three, typically three heavy workouts a week, two lighter workouts a week, and then two days a week where I'm doing things like walking and hiking and maybe mobility work and playing with my kids at the park and that kind of stuff. But I don't have necessarily days where I'm like no activity, yeah. no exercise, I need to recover. Netflix, unless I've, unless I've really overdone it and I feel like I'm on the on the verge of getting ill, in which case I will not do anything. I love the idea of you know going to the gym seven days a week. I just uh, Not just because uh, I think I felt my best during those times too. And I'm not right now, by the way. It's, uh, and I'm also not nowhere near the best shape of my life right now. I think that uh, for, the, for the mental reason, uh, for creating a good habit, I like to teach clients this. Like just... You make you carve an hour out a day that is your day to work on yourself. That's just it. Mm-hmm. But you, you like to Sal's point, you you modify the intensity. It doesn't working out or exercising for your for your health or for overall performance, whatever you're looking for, uh, doesn't have to look like hammering the weights every single time to the gym. You know, like you said, three to four days of of a, a good you know intense workout is more than enough and then doing cardio on the off days or mobility or taking a hike or doing yoga and working inward like i i like the idea of teaching clients to have that 5 to 7 days where they just they know hey every day at this time for this hour i carve that out for my time to go to my gym or work out in my garage wherever you do it at and you just modify it based off of what you've been doing. If you had a real heavy lifting day the day before, well, okay, well then today do more mobility, stretching, or cardio type activity, and then go back to a heavy lifting day. I I like that, and I've I've found I've had the most success that way, and I found my clients that I encourage to go to the gym that often have a lot of success. Now that's not to be said that you can't only train. You know, you could train two days a week and only train two days a week and build a decent physique if you mm-hmm. have very good discipline. With your eating and your your calorie balance, um, you could build a decent amount of muscle. You can burn a decent amount of fat and and shape a decent body. Only going to the gym two times a week, but I think that it's more consistent and you get more bang for your buck just getting in the habit and the routine of always having that hour of exercise, just changing and modifying it. Yeah, like Sal kind of said in the beginning about uh, working out really hard and then having to dedicate like a whole day of just rest and not movement. Like I used to run by that, especially on the weekends, which is then going to leave me open to, you know, the weekends you make decisions where you're going to eat a bit more calories. You're not paying attention to all these things. You're, you're, you're resting, right? So, so th- this is where all the the magic happens, where you're, you're building muscle. But it, it 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 took me to the point where I would get to Monday's workout and I would have zero motivation. I did not want to move, and I had to overcome every week. I had to overcome this uh, th- this this sort of block that I put in front of me in terms of being able to now generate that type of momentum to get to produce a better workout again, and then repeat the cycle all over again. 
and it wasn't until I I realized. I mean, I just got to keep moving and, and and do lighter amounts, and even if that means scaling my workout back a bit of intensity wise, uh, and then moving again the second day and not doing quite what I did the first day. Uh, my body just felt better. I was I was more energized. I was I felt more recovery, and it's just a it's a way better strategy than to really hammering the body and then like resting completely. Dude, totally, uh, you know. Th- Four moderate intensity workouts is better than two super high intensity workouts if you on a long term basis. Um, you know that's just true, right? Daily activity is best, but you got to moderate the intensity so that your body can handle it.